not very often you get to sit this close to a living legend. Mm -hmm. Would you say hi to Mr. Scotty Moore? How are you, Scotty? Thank you, I think. You think? I don't know. <laughs> we haven't started yet. Well, you're looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's been a, last time we, we really met, we, we made that DVD in, in London right. at Abbey Road, uh, which was a real wonderful tribute uh, to you. Uh, yes, it was. And uh, I'm trying to, what, what month, how long ago has it been? It was 2004, 2004, <laughs> December 5th. 2004, right? We, we did. But let's just re uh, remind ourselves of the guitar players that were on that because Bill Wyman from the Rolling Stones, who I work with quite often, right. he, uh, he invited me uh, to play that. There was Eric Clapton, there was Dave Gilmore, uh, Mark Knopfler, right. Ronnie Wood, uh, uh, there was Albert Lee. Albert Lee, course. that's yeah. what I was trying to think Albert of. Albert Lee, yeah. And um, it was it, it was a it was a just a wonderful wonderful moment and it was and a good show, really and much. you played and that was that was quite a highlight for me. It was was when we probably the last time I've even attempted to play probably was it yeah. But it was great hearing you play your that that classic in, introduction to the, the tune and then I then I took it off in a kind of a, a jazz direction. Who knows where it went? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're not supposed to know what it is. It's jazz, you know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so. I'd, what what uh, the students here would be, I, I know, would be very interested to hear from you is um, because I'm always interested to know whenever I talk to guitar players, it, how did it all, all start for you? You know, what was the, the the beginning for you? What drew what drew you to music and what drew you to the guitar in particular? Mine was probably just pure hard headedness because <laughs> uh, I had uh, uh, three brothers. And, uh, and my dad, they all had a band when they were all at home. But, but by the time I came along, it was everybody's, my dad was gotten too old and all three brothers had gotten married and left home. So you were the youngest and I was you the were youngest, the baby. And, but, the I, but I kept baby. hearing stories, of course. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it, I guess that's where it basically came from until I went in the Navy. Uh, is that where the starting really, the, the playing really started? Yeah, I yeah. uh, was on a, was on a uh, LST. So that would have been about 1947. You uh, were yeah, that's in, right. in, yeah. in the Navy, and so you had a lot, a lot of opportunities to play at that time, did you? Well, it was the Navy band, the LST, which is a small, small ship, hmm. you know, land, landing craft, whatever you call it, and uh, it's not that big a crew on there either, hmm. and. Uh, so there was quite a bit of downtime. You know, all you had to do was figure out some way to stay away from the from the captain and everybody else. You know. Yeah. So that's when I really started playing. Yeah. So when you came out when you came out of the navy, then it, then you you pursued a career in music straight away, did you? From from. Uh, in the back of my mind, really, I had to. First of all, I just had to make a living doing anything I could. I didn't know what I wanted to do, to tell you the truth. And what, what were they? What kind of work did you, what kind of dates did you play? Was it you playing like dances and? Uh, played, played a few dances. Uh, mostly just stayed home and playing records and stuff like that. So you learned really from, from playing? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really. Trying it's, to figure it out. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty recent now when you, when you think. First of all, it's like this big revolution happened when videos came out, and you could get a teaching video, and you make. I know you were involved in that that too, and making videos, and but that was a kind of a, a one way. It was always frustrating for the student because the the teacher on the video was kind of given information and playing, but they weren't able really to ask any mm -hmm. any questions and get that that feedback. That's why we're living in a very very exciting time now where we can actually have this this interaction like on here that all the students can can send me videos and I can respond to them so we have a you know we build up a relationship and it seems to speed up the teaching the, the learning process because yes, it, it, it took does. me about 10 years before I could really kind of figured out what was going on with the guitar did you did you find that it was it a long was it a long process I stayed with it about uh, 40 years and I just quit because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I've got to ask you... Why do you think I'm sitting here talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> I remember you said to me once, you said to me, uh, I think the first time I met you, I played and you came up to me and you said, 
where were you in 1956 when I needed you? <laughs> <laughs> I always tell people that. And actually, 1956, I was just being born. So. <laughs> now, I've got to ask you, of course, um, what, was the, um, what was the first connection with, with Elvis? I mean, I don't, I don't really have to ask you because it's pretty much in the, in, in the history books. Well, we got, to, got this group together, and then we had two, three different places in town we were playing like every Saturday night, you know. Mm. And then, then I had this thought. I said, okay, we got, we got a group, everything. We had, had to dress alike and everything. It was a country, I mean, sure, yeah. a, a group. And uh, we've, we've all seen great photographs of you. Have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. With a hat on the back of my head, right? Yeah, yeah. Very, very <laughs> cool. Like Alan Ladd. You know? <laughs> always like Alan Ladd, who always, always used to wear his, his, his hat on the back of his yeah. head. It was a kind of a nonchalant type of thing. But then I, I had the thought, I said, well, I need to get a record out. So I found out that uh, they were, I heard about Sun Records, that hmm. they had put out some records and stuff. So that was my next chore. So I started. I went in and and, and met him. And uh, Sam Phillips was his name, and he yeah. was a great one to if he could get anything done for free. He was right on top of it I mean, <laughs> immediately. He wasn't Scottish, was he? <laughs> he might have been. I hadn't thought about it. <laughs> really. And uh, he asked one day. He said, "Says says the boy's been coming in here and, and bothering. Uh, we were having coffee." Said this boy's been coming in and talking to uh, Marion, his secretary, hmm. uh, about doing records and everything. Said so she's actually put him on tape doing some stuff. I still had not heard him see. Hmm. And, this is uh, Elvis. And hmm. uh, he turned to to Marion. Says, uh, "Said uh, next door to the, it was next door to his to the studio." T asked Marion, "Said go uh, get that boy's." Did still didn't call his name, you know. Hmm. And said, "Get that boy's." Uh, Telephone number and give it to Scotty, and she came back in and handed me the handed me the paper and I looked at it and I said, Elvis Presley, what yeah. kind of dead gum name is that? You know, <laughs> that was my first thing out of my mouth. It will never catch on. <laughs> <laughs> it will never go anywhere. Yeah, really? <laughs> <laughs> what were your, what was, what was your first impression? Well, he was a nice looking kid. He was you know and. Uh, uh, stuff he was singing, he was singing it good. It was not, nothing that I hadn't before. I mean, as far as uh, any tonality or anything, you know, like that. I mean, he didn't have a, he didn't have a, what's the, what do they say about guys? He's got a... Uh, charisma. Charisma, yeah. yeah. Charisma. He didn't have he anything had, exciting. It he had something about him. him. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, in fact, Bell came down and, and, and sat, sat around for a few minutes and listened to him. He didn't even pick up his bass. Just sit there and listen. And I told him, I said, "Well, I'll call call Mr. Phillips and uh, and he's, uh, he's supposed to tell him about you and so forth. And he'll probably be calling you to come in and do an audition or something." Mm -hmm. And uh, which I did. And uh, mm -hmm. we went in on Monday. And it's still just an audition, and we was in there probably. I'm gonna say five hours, four or five hours, with him just singing different things, all slow ballad type things. Well, Sam didn't have a talkback from the studio. I'm from the control room, hmm. and if there was anything he had to say, you have to leave the door cracked open a little bit where he could holler through the door at us. And uh, Bill was laying which he had a big habit of, he'd lay his bass down and then lay down on top of it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> really? Big, big bull bass, you know. Yeah. And uh, we was ready, we was, it was getting late, it was about 9.30 or something like that, and we were, ready, we were tired, we was ready to go. And it was just all of a sudden, walked, had a guitar, just walked over and just started just beating the frailing and singing, that's all right. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I didn't, hadn't even, thought about playing it or anything yet, I think Bill picked up and started slapping his bass a little bit with him or something. And Sam heard it and, and uh, came out, hollered and said, hey, that sounds pretty good. So what are y'all doing? Now, this is the first up-tempo thing we'd done all, all the time we'd been in there. And uh, he said, I, I, of course, I didn't know, none of us knew that that song was actually 
in Sam's Publishing Company to begin with. Oh, it's, yeah. And we still don't know to this day if, if, if uh, Elvis picked that song to try to impress Sam that he had heard it, stuff he had been putting out. Or yeah. do you think do you think Elvis knew that he? I, you know, I think he must have. Like, yeah, yeah, but he never mentioned it. Yeah. And uh, well, we looked at each other and said, oh, what are we doing? Said, oh, just run through it and uh, do the best you can, whatever. Just get something on tape. He's mainly interested in his voice at that time. And so you've heard the, what happened. Sure. <laughs> that was it. Music that was history. it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Sam, he said, oh, that's great. And everything. He said, fine, fine. We'll have to have a, have to have a backside for that or something. And, uh, we went home. That was that was the start. Wow. <laughs>